Uh, welcome to my channel and welcome back if you've already been here. Let me tell you about myself. My name is Orbit Stephanie and my channel is a combination of a lot of things. It is me being a part-time RVer and currently I have a Class B RV. I'm also a full-time employee uh, so I can't travel very much but I can travel when I'm on my leave or on extended weekends or something like that. So I will get to travel, but I'm not full time. I'm just practicing, all right? So in the meantime, Orbit Stephanie is really showing you a lot of bits and pieces of me. And part of that is my exercising, and I invite you to join in on that. My cooking, uh, some of the meals I make are vegan or vegetarian. I invite you to try those as well. There will be some meat uh, meals in there as well because I, I sometimes eat meat and my family does. Uh, I also drink smoothies, healthy smoothies. I found a way to make coffee healthy, sort of. <laughs> and I juice. And I mean, you know, I have my grandchildren, I have my doggy, and I have other life stuff going on. So I'd love to invite you to participate in that part. Enjoy the whole content. It's not just about the RV for me. Orbit, Orbit Stephanie is just really everything. All my travels, whether I'm on an airplane or whether I'm in an RV or a vehicle with family, solo, dolo, maintenance to my vehicle. Um, I've even changed my oil of my generator, my RV. Did that solo on my own. I was, well, actually I had help with the shop uh, mechanic, but that's, he was guiding me. He didn't do anything. He was guiding me. And I have a video about that. So ahead, go ahead and check that out. But right now, we're here to go ahead and do an exercise. And I'm going to do rollers. I'm on the rollers, the inside roller, easy motion. And I have my Cervelo Cal Caledonia bike. And I have my Infinity Seat saddle. I have, well, I have Pearl Izumi. But I do have on Playtri, Playtri Fort Worth, Texas. That is where I purchased, I happened to purchase this bike here, this Savello Caledonia. <laughs> I have a few bikes. I have one behind me. I got that from them as well. <laughs> I have a few bikes, but you'll see that if you continue to follow me. So this indoor workout, I invite you to join me in any type of exercise you have at your disposal or you see fit or that you're doing. You could be walking in place. You could be on a treadmill. You can be take this video with you outside and watch it while you're walking or jogging outside. Well, it's pretty hard to jog and walk and look or jog and look at it. <laughs> but you get my point. Uh, weight training or, or motivation for future training that you're going to do. Um, so, but if you're going to sit down and watch it, you might as well march in place. You know, do whatever you like though and, and do it at your fitness level. Whatever I say, I'm doing for me. However, you know your fitness level, so you go ahead and engage that accordingly and you make your adjustments because you'll definitely see me make my adjustments because I am kind of famous for getting leg cramps. But as I get more in shape, they take a little bit longer to get them. What I take for that is mustard, yellow mustard. I'll sit that down. If I have it handy, which I do indoors, is magnesium lotion. I put that directly on wherever the muscles trying to cramp. Tums are another one. Those are good for helping you with cramps. And then I have cramp peels. And then I have water with some electrolytes in it. This in my Camelback is all water. So that's about it for the prep. Uh, let's be ready to get this party started, okay? Okay, getting started with the warm-up, and I'm going to go ahead and hit the Garmin, get this baby rolling. So we're warming up right now. The warm-up is going to be, we only need about two minutes of this portion of the warm-up because we'll have a three-minute empower zone. So that'll give us a total of five minutes of power one, power one. If I'm looking crazy, it's because I actually have music in my ears this time. I better turn that down <laughs> so I can hear myself think, talk, 
and enjoy a little bit of background music. <laughs> so, 38 seconds have passed. And I am in zone one. I think I am. But there's no telling. I better check. Actually, I'm in zone two. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. I've gotten a little stronger in the last uh, few rides. Each ride I do, I get a little bit more stronger. And sometimes I don't realize I'm out of my zone because my legs feel so good. They want to go, go, go. <laughs> I hope this particular angle is good uh, as opposed to the angles I had before. I had them on my um, foot locker. So, but this time I have it in front of me. And hopefully that will work out. Especially when I do lies. Alright, so let's see where we're at. We are still in warm up. I have not started the first block of uh I guess you could say a burn piece. Have not we have not started that yet. So Let's give it another minute in this warm-up phase. So we just let two minutes pass. So we'll let our legs easy spin. I need to spin even easier. Okay. There it is. That feels a little better. Yeah, I might be moving all around the place. Don't worry about it. I, I'm not losing my balance. In fact, my body has such good body, good memory of where I am and orientating where I am, I don't get nervous. Well, I'm not good enough to do it without that support that's waiting on me, which is my treadmill. <laughs> One day I will get to do it that way without anything. Like those, oh, those people are so excited to see them do wheel hops or bunny hops, hop onto the rollers and hop off. Okay, three minutes are here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the first block, which is three minutes in zone one, which is really what we were in in the first place. Yeah, three minutes in zone one. And thirsty already, no problem. If I'm thirsty, that means that I've needed water for longer than I realized. If you already feel thirsty, then you're closer to dehydration. You shouldn't feel thirsty if you're like at normal health. Um, feel that thirst is a signal to drink, that's for sure. All right. So I'm in, in my zone one, my FTP, I haven't taken a test since I've started exercising again. I thought I was going to test today, but I, I couldn't stop riding and stuff to give myself a nice two days of rest so I can have a good test. So uh, I'll probably do it sometime next week. Okay, one minute, 30 seconds left to go. We're still in zone one. I'm gonna get in the drops for a second. Just to change it up. Use another set of muscles, which is the hamstring. I guess that's the hamstring. What's that muscle in the back? <laughs> That, that connects to your glutes. I get hamstring and the other, the other one confused. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying. When you get low, you're calling on those larger muscles in the back. If you, you ever riding outside and you get in those drops, you'll find that you can go faster. It also has something to do with being arrow. More arrow, less wind cutting through you. 
and the wind will slide, you'll slice through the wind better the closer you are to your bike. All right, 20 seconds left to go in zone one. It's a good time to, for you to enjoy whatever music you might want to listen to in the background to motivate you. All right, here we go. Getting ready to go into zone three for three minutes. Let's start. Zone three, three minutes. I'm trying not to do it too much, too quickly on my gears, because I hate to hear them do that jerking sound. And that's only because my timing is off. I'll put too much power on the pedals and it'll be in the middle of a gear, gear change and that won't be good. So, I try not to do that. But I am in zone three. What zone are you in? Did you make it to zone three? <laughs> yeah, zone three. Have you been doing this with me all week? You know what zone three feels like. call coming through. The call came through and interrupted that. I hate that too. The telemarketer. And I hope they don't call back. I keep blocking the number, but they keep calling back. Anyway, it's been a good week for me. Hopefully you had a good week. We are in zone In zone two. How did that happen? Oh, okay. When I paused it, man. When I paused it, it kept going. I didn't realize I didn't. So forgive me for that mix up. That's why I tried to record this time instead of doing this live, because I ended up end up having quite a few errors. You know, you live, can't edit. I can edit this. But I'm not going to edit it to be perfect <laughs> because I'll be here all night. <laughs> but I will let you know that there was a pause. I'll probably put a uh, some sort of a message up in there. That's what I'm going to do. now we're in zone two. Zone two was a time of two minutes. I'm doing this so my screen doesn't shut off. So we're in zone two for two minutes, and we have 23 seconds left to go. Then get ready for zone four for two minutes. That's gonna really get our heart rate, heart rate going. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Zone four, two minutes. Zone four, two minutes. I'm in it. Are you in it? Are you doing something that increased your activity from those two minutes to these two minutes? Yeah. One minute, 30 seconds left to go in zone four. All right. One minute, 10 seconds left in zone four. Don't go too fast, because we got zone five waiting on us for two minutes. We amping it up. Don't waste your energy. We're just getting started. Pace yourself. This is going to be a strain for me, but I'm not going to give up. I know you're not going to give up. 
We got 20 seconds left to go in zone four. Seconds left in zone four. Zone five, coming up right now. Two minutes in zone five. This is a little doozy. As high as we've gone already so far this morning, this uh, workout.
All right, 15 seconds left to go in zone one. We're in zone two, I mean zone, I'm sorry, wait a minute. Oh, we're supposed to be in zone three. Mess that one up again. Zone three. Didn't read it right. <laughs> we were already in our second session. And I got it confused. Oh, well, I'm an amateur. <laughs> Y'all work with me, okay? And let's get in zone three. We got two and a half minutes left in zone three. After zone three, we'll be in zone two. <clears throat> right now we're in zone three though, for another two minutes and five seconds. I'm gonna get in the drops, change up my muscle group being used. seconds left in zone three. I will be posting my results after I post this, if not the next day. I'll post what my activity actually looked like so you can see the ups and downs, the fast and the slow and the recovery. You can see it all, how I was reacting to the recovery, I mean to the workout. Thirty-five seconds left in zone three. in zone three. After zone three, we'll be two minutes in zone two. If I read it right, but we'll see. All right, three, two, one. Yep, two minutes in zone two. Zone four is gonna be after this for two minutes. And zone five will be after that for two minutes. One minute left to go in zone two. Thirty second, thirty five seconds left in zone two. Remember zone four is up next for two minutes. So try to stay within your means if you can, because we still have a little bit more to go. And 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's get in zone four for two minutes. Two minutes in zone four. Zone five will be after that for two minutes. And then we will be done with this particular set. We will get to recover three minutes and 30 seconds. And then we'll begin the second set. We will also have two sets within it. And after that, a little teaser. And we're done. Zone four. A minute left. Seconds left to go in zone four. <clears throat> Twenty seconds left in zone four. Zone five is waiting on us for two minutes. We already did that once. I only gotta do it one more time. And this set. Four, three, two, one, zone five. One minute, 17 seconds left in zone five. One minute, four seconds left in zone five. Forty-five seconds in zone five. Almost done. Twenty seconds in zone five. Zone five. Almost over. Getting recovery. Zone one. Cool it down. Cool it down. Two minutes, 45 seconds, cooling down.
two minutes, 15 seconds left in cool down mode. I see my legs are trying to creep back up faster, working harder. But just like you gotta pay attention to when you're not working hard enough and need to push yourself, gotta pay attention to when you're supposed to be recovering or cooling down to not let your body dictate the program if you want to stick to your program. And since I want to stick to today's program, I am going to lessen the, the hard gear, make it lighter, and keeping his own one that way. I look at it like this. Legs, heart, lungs, muscles, and you had that much energy to climb out zone one when you're supposed to be cooling down. What was that? Doing a heartbeat of the workout. <laughs> but in all fairness, I've exercised six days straight, I think, and jumped right on the bike. And didn't, didn't, I modified my workouts, but I, did, I jumped into my miles quite aggressively for someone who's been off the bike for a minute. But I know my body's got good muscle memory, and it'll tell me when it's had enough. And I think I'm starting to get that signal on this workout that I am due for a proper recovery so I can be stellar strong again for my next workout. I hope you did great. I know you did great. And guess what? We got five seconds left to go. And the official three and a half minutes of recovery is over. But I'm gonna just give a little bit of an outro and tell you guys, thank you for coming. I enjoyed you. Hopefully you can use this video in one of or many of your workouts. Uh, after you've seen it or been through it once, you'll have an idea of how this one goes. And maybe you can see how you can work it in. One of your home rides or whatever it is that you're doing. See how it accommodates you. Like, see how it entertains you. See how it motivates you. And hopefully it doesn't discourage you. Because I'm not discouraged. I'm very motivated and I appreciate each of you for the views, the likes, the comments, the support, the subscriptions. I appreciate it. So, whatever you have to do today or tonight, whatever it is when you watch this video, make it grand, make it awesome. And I will see you at the next video. Next video is probably gonna be something to do with RG too. Yes. <laughs> All right. See y'all later. Peace.